one of the things that I love about spending time with you is how much you like a little kid enjoy making records still. And I feel like me personally, I've had ups and downs with my enthusiasm for, for making records over the years that I've been doing it. How do you like, what is, what is exciting essentially about making records? Why, why do it? Have you had periods of not enjoying the process? Cause you, you've been an artist, you've been a producer, you've played all kinds of different roles. Is there an essential thing about it that excites you? How, where do you where do you find that joy? That's that's interesting. Yes, I mean, uh, obviously, as you say, we we began as artists. First, I was in a studio. I was there to sing to make our own record. I was in this duo in the sixties. But the first time I was in the studio was, I think, the, when that was the day I realized I wanted to be a record producer. Once I figured out what um, what a producer could do, which is a bit different than what it is now. In the in the spe- in the specifics, but the same overall, you know, the fact that you could hire great musicians much better than yourself and tell them what to do, I thought that was amazing. And and the idea of sitting down with a song and a singer. Oh, sorry, let me put that on you know, disturb <laughs> or something. Busy man as always. Um, uh, the idea of, of being able to to sit down with a great song and a great singer and figure out how best they could do it, how great that song could be, how to make it even more memorable and catchy than it was already is, was exciting. Uh, yes, of course you have, you have phases of it being less fun. You have phases of, of wondering if you know what you're doing. There's always that, you know, where there's a point where when are they going to figure out I'm making this up as I go along? Um, right. so far they haven't, but you know, but it doesn't stop that feeling. And the same thing, you know, there's the thing halfway through an album where you suddenly go, this is all awful. You know, this is just shit, you know, and 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 then a few days later, suddenly it all starts sounding OK again. It's it's weird. But there is a, a mid project blues, I think, that that I know I get sometimes when you put a lot of work into it. And one day you sit and listen to the whole thing back and you kind of go, "Ugh," you know, <laughs> but 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 I know now to discount that feeling to kind of go, just wait. You know, the same, the same, the same recording, the same take will start to sound a lot better in a couple of days for some mystical reason. You'll suddenly go, oh, yeah, that's that's right. That's what we meant. So, yes, yeah. like everybody, I have, I have massive doubts, but I've always loved the process. And I've had, you know, the, one of the greatest examples of my life is that I've got to work with so many amazing singers, you know, and, and mm. both new and old, you know, it, it, both existing singers. And it. That's an incredible thrill. If you're working with someone new and they're out there in the room singing and you, you're just listening and going, wow, you know, this is great. You know, this is, I'm privileged to be here. And in the case of someone legendary, you get a whole other thing going on. I mean, I remember the first time I was in the studio with Diana Ross, um, you know, I, you know I, I knew her before sort of socially, but you know, the, and, and of course, but then there was those scary reputation things of, you know, call me Miss right. Ross and all this stuff. So, you know, yeah, what's this going to be like? And I remember, I, I think it was a song called When You Tell Me That You Love Me that we ended up having a hit with. And she goes down the studio and starts singing on the mic and you kind of go, holy shit, this sounds exactly like Diana Ross. It's amazing. <laughs> and, and that voice that was on all those Supremes records that were, you know, my favorite records uh, when I was young. Um, there it is. You and you, you, you are sitting. You know, separated by a piece of glass, listening to us sing live, and that still thrills the hell out of me. 